Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and I am back today with a very special video. I'm doing my collection video. I do this video about once a year. Uh, this particular video is actually kind of special because generally my collection's been kind of uh, condensed into one quick video. It doesn't show you quite everything that I have, but it shows you a vast majority of it. Awesome thing about this year's video is that I actually have a whole room dedicated just to my collection. I'm going to kind of take you around the office I work in and that has pretty much everything I use for Pokemon related stuff. So, special treat for you guys. Uh, this video is actually going to be at least two videos as uh, I have quite a bit to show you guys. So, uh, this is the first part. This is just kind of a basic overview and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So, let's get it started. i to kind of back you out. Uh, this is the desk that I work at. Uh, I got my computer. There's some PSA paperwork filed on my desk. This is where I do pretty much all of my filming. Uh, some note taking uh, whenever I need to upload something. I write myself a little note. It works incredibly well. A uh, little chair I work at, a little office chair, some speakers down there so I can blast some music while I'm uploading. Um, this is basically where the majority of the filming will now happen on the channel. Uh, this, this little white space right here that the camera can't seem to focus on. There we go. There's me too. Um, those big sprites you'll see in the background quite a bit. Uh, I've got PSA holders on either side. You'll see various PSA cards showcased on occasion. Uh, let's take you over. I actually have another table. And this is where a decent bulk of my collection is. Those two cases hold all of my PSA cards. And we'll just walk you right over to them. Far left, I've got a couple of booster boxes that I'm hanging on to. Hopefully future investment. Not real sure if I'll open them up but uh, looking to maybe resell them one day. Uh, these two stacks of cards um, are various things. I've got uh, some BGS cards in the very back of this stack, as well as uh, my Venusaur Hollow, which I showcase specifically. That's in the very, very back. Um, some trophy cards, um, some uh, Secret Rare Charizards. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff. Mint 9, Gem Mint 10, uh, this pile, pretty much the same deal. Uh, nines and tens, stuff like that. It's not really sorted quite yet, but I'm getting there. Um, moving right along, this is the other case that I have. These two rows right here, uh, all PSA 10 uh, base set cards uh, that I've collected thus far. Right now, I'm right around 75, and that includes the hollows, so I'm very close to completing that 103 card set. So. Uh, hopefully within the next year or so, I'll actually have enough money to complete that set. Something I'm looking forward to. Uh, this pile is Gem Mint 10's Full Arts, Half Art, uh, what else do I have in here? Secret Rares, they're all Gem Mint 10, they're all right here. Here I've got some Mint 9's from various things that I've bought. And uh, towards the back here, I've got some personal cards um, that I've had from when I was a kid. So they hold a special little place right there. I think I have some uh, cards, other cards, yeah, I've actually got my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection up front right here, that's part of the stack. Right now the collection runs roughly 150 PSA cards, I'm not quite sure of the exact number, but at some point in time I'll do a count and uh, figure it out. Also these two cases that you see may not be around too much longer, I'm actually trying to contact a guy about getting a, uh, another one. They cost three times as much as just one of these, actually more than three times as much, but they're much higher quality. So. Hopefully I actually can get a hold of the guy and get a really high quality case, but we'll see as uh, time goes on. Also part of my desk layout, I got my business cards right there. You can see I include those with trades and such. Here I've got every piece of stained glass that my girlfriend has ever made me. I've got all kinds of fun Pokemon that I love. I have some Nintendo stuff because I'm a big Nintendo fan as well. And I do get this question on occasion. Yes, she does do custom work. Yes, she can make you a stained glass Pokemon. Just send me a PM. I can talk to her. Uh, they generally run anywhere from 50 to 75 bucks. Just be aware of that. So, uh, Next, I got my printer in the background there, but I've also got some cards um, from when I moved. I found, well, actually, my brother gave them to me. He's like, I'm not real sure what to do with them. So at some point in time, I'm going to have to organize those. So that's an ongoing project. Below that, I'm utilizing uh, my space as best I can. I have a little organizer here with all kinds of stuff. I'll just kind of run you through it. I've got a uh, planner for various dates and such. Uh, this is an address book for all the people I do PSA work with. I write down their addresses so I can just send to them uh, that much faster. This is stuff I use to appraise cards. This is actually a light-up magnifier. You um, 
Let's see if I can do it one-handed here. Ah, there we go. Uh, see, there's a light, an LED light on the magnifier, so when you're looking at a card, you can uh, light it up a little better. And this, this is a little gimmicky. I bought this. This is actually a, a really high intensity magnifier that you can put directly on top of a card and tell if it's damaged or if there's dirt or what there is. I've only used that twice. It's like really extreme, but I think it's kind of fun just to have around. Uh, then my shelving. I've got like all kinds of shipping supplies and stuff I use um, from day to day basis. Uh, here's where I keep all my sleeves. Well, most of them at least. I've got a couple thousand in here. Team bags, graded card sleeves, stuff I need. Shipping supplies, rubber bands. I've got a couple of boxes from PSA that are incredibly um, high grade that I use for return shipping. Bubble mailers, envelopes. And then down here is where I keep some of my PSA stuff, the actual order forms, as well as my own paperwork and uh, some stuff I might send to PSA in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Here I've got even more. I've got cardboard boxes that I can uh, box stuff up, giveaway prizes. Some of the uh, majority of those boxes actually are just card boxes that I can use for PSA cards. They work incredibly well. Tripod I use for pretty much every one of my videos except for this one. Uh, it's very rare you see me go off off tripod because my hands shake just a little bit. Uh, then I've got some packing tape down below there. I go through a ton of that stuff. Next up, the corner of my office has a futon on it. I got a little Reese's pillow up there I can lay down on. Generally, all those boxes and stuff you see in the corner, those aren't there. That's stuff I actually need to ship out. I'm shipping that out today. At the time I'm filming this, I haven't shipped out PSA round 11 back to the users yet. So that's something I'm just sitting, sitting on for right now. I'll ship them out fairly soon. There's my futon. It's got a couple of Pokemon sprites on it. That's something you'll see in the background of a lot of my videos these for a while actually. I got Snorlax, there's Gyarados back there, there's a Metagross behind that one, uh, and then we got Zapdos and Rotom. All that good stuff. Uh, I got a big old window in my room, helps light light up the room a little bit, makes filming a little easier. Um, basically it just looks at trees, and if you can hear background noises, there are a couple of guys back there building a deck. They got the radio blasting and power tools going, so if you hear noise in the background, that's what that is. Below my window though, I've utilized that space. Uh, I have an ottoman directly below it. What I use my ottoman for, uh, it used to be just pure storage and I'm still kind of running with that. It's a lot of packing supplies and such. Uh, right there at the bottom, that's uh, mostly mostly top loaders. Uh, some open, some unopened. I've got a couple, three, four hundred there. Uh, below, above that, to the left, um, below that foam pad is uh, some jumbo top loaders for jumbo cards. Uh, some more foam to insert to protect cards and such. Uh, I've also got CS1s, additional cardboard that I use to send to PSA, and uh, some Ultra Pro sleeves that I use for uh, various things. Down there are used top loaders. You guys send me cards. This is what I do with them. I just put them in a little pile right here of used top loaders. I generally end up selling them for like three cents a piece or something like that, three to five cents a piece. So. Uh, I got one guy that buys them pretty consistently, so I tend not to make sale or trade videos with them. Uh, extra chair in case somebody wants to visit my office, I keep one right there. Then I got a big old shelf right here of all kinds of Pokemon stuff. I'll kind of go through it shelf by shelf. Uh, that top shelf, uh, that's a box that has some uh, Journey Across America stuff in it. I made a video about it before, it's not that interesting, some plushies and such. Uh, empty box I'll probably use for shipping later. Um, these going to end up selling at some point I'm sure. These are just empty packs uh, that I've opened on camera from before. They are 10 cents a piece if anybody wants them because I will try to get rid of them. You do have to pay for shipping. Just a warning. Uh, then this shelf is pretty cool. This is stuff I found while I was moving. Um, I've got some little Pokemon erasers which I thought were awesome. I got Mewtwo, Pikachu, Slowbro, Nidoking. Nidoking looks awesome by the way. Haven't used them, just kept them, hung on to them. Uh, some Pokemon games from when I was a kid. I started off with yellow, then did silver, gold. Uh, Sapphire I came into later after my brother had played it and just kind of played on his profile for a while. Uh, some unopened booster packs. Sealed Entei card promo. Uh, something from Nintendo World. Uh, used to be the Pokemon Center from May 2005. It was a little collectible pin. Um, some tickets of authenticity authenticity that go to these gold cards. The Pokeballs didn't survive. They're old um, 
Burger King toys you could buy way back in the day. Hung on to a couple of those. I've got some inserts from N64 and Game Boy games, and then I found a whole bunch of stickers and like little tattoos and stuff. I've hung on to those as well. I'll have to find a use for those at some point. Oh, and these things. I almost forgot about these things. They're little holographic cards I found. Yeah, move them and they evolve kind of thing. A horsey to Cedra. So those are cool. Cool stuff I hang on to. Uh, this whole shelf are other toys from my childhood. Um, I've had this probably longer than anything else. It's an old little Charizard figure. Um, some sprites I've handmade from the past. These went to something else. I have no idea. They probably belong to another toy, but like it's a little Typhlosion emblem. A little Scyther one. I thought they looked cool, so I hung on to them. Some various figures. Pikachu. Some more Burger King toys. The Blastoise and the Poliwrath actually squirt water. You hold them underneath and then you press on their tummies and they squirt water. They're fun. Uh, some little Game Boy things, Groudon. These are awesome. Uh, I found these as well. It's like a little set of marbles, I guess. It has different Pokemon on it. So if it's cool, I hang on to it. So that's what I'm doing with it. Uh, some reading material. These are some Pokemon Stadium guides. A uh, booklet from Pokemon Snap. And I got some Jumbo cards underneath that. I love Jumbo cards, so I tend to hang on to them. And then uh, somebody painted a uh, Snorlax painted silver. That was a big deal, so I hung on to it. It was user submitted. So I'm hanging on to that. Uh, my next shelf down holds all of the binders I currently own, as well as a bag I got from uh, playing in a Pokemon tournament. Uh, this holds all of my hollows, as well as reverse rares. Uh, and then this one, I believe, holds my rare cards and my um, uh, common and uncommon reverses. That's it. I've actually kind of liquidated this binder. This used to hold promos. I no longer collect promos, so I uh, have that's an empty binder, and I'll find a use for it at some point. Uh, these two binders are very important to me, and that's why they're over here. This binder actually belongs to a friend who is currently doing military service, so I'm hanging on to that for him, kind of looking after his collection a little bit. And then this one, this is the best one out of all of them, uh, this binder is full of cards um, that users have sent me over the past years. Not FCBMs, I've never really gotten an FCBM per se, but I've gotten free cards in addition to like a PSA order or part of a trade or whatever, and so I hang on to a lot of that stuff right here. Alrighty, right down here, this this shelf you guys will probably like the most. This is my sell slash giveaway shelf. And what this is full of is all the stuff you'll see in future giveaways or stuff I'll attempt to sell in the near future. I've got jumbo cards, fossil free PSA submissions, um, stickers from the Pokemon Center, which are really hard to find, uh, secret rare Charizards, a number of different hollows. I've also got rares, uh, common and uncommon reverses, promos, and Gemmit 10 Pokemon cards, which I hope to do as part of giveaways. I've also got playmats and such in the back, booklets, all kinds of fun stuff. And finally, this last shelf is just a lot of my back stock, um, my, those uh, extra cards you get in the booster packs. That, that's full of tons of them. I've got thousands in there. If anybody wants, you know, bulk lots or anything, let me know. And right here, this really isn't Pokemon related, but it does. that black case holds my Game Boy and the silver case holds a GameCube that I moved over from my house. I didn't have room for them otherwise, so I just put them over here. My closet, which just holds t-shirts and nothing else. And of course the door, so I can escape this place if need be. So that about does it for me, guys. Uh, that's my Pokemon collection as of right now. I'll upload another video regarding the PSA card so you guys can have a quick look at that. And uh, hey, thanks a lot for watching.